I'll tell you one thing, the fans are not going to accept a Phantasm, especially if it's not a remake or anything, a Phantasm sequel with somebody else other than Angus Graham playing the tall man. It's not going to work. It's not what we want. Trust me on this. So, most of us just gave up. It's like, oh, by the time they actually be able to do something, you know, he passed away. We'll never see a real five. What we're going to see in the future will be a reboot with a different cast, a remake. We'll never get our real conclusion. Well, to my, um, to my amazement, a month ago they premiered the trailer for Part Five. I thought I would never ever see this made in my lifetime. Really, I thought it was never going to happen. It and. I've heard rumors and all this, but until I saw the trailer, I didn't know it was official. It blew me away. I was excited. I was happy. To me, the trailer for Phantasm V is far more fantastical and interesting and important than, say, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle trailer or all these other big high-profile trailers coming out. No, 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 no. This trailer made me happy. And I guess I should talk about the trailer, huh? Um, it's a teaser trailer, but it, it, it knows how to play with fans. Plenty of fan service. Uh, you, of course, you get to see Angus Grimm, who's looking older, but he's still rocking out the character. Um, get a great moment where you see troops shooting a rocket launcher down the hallway right at the tall man. That's not going to end well. <laughs> That's another thing. It makes me wonder what the plot is, because the plot for the first version they tried to get made, Phantasm End, was going to be Tall Man finally took over the world, and what's left of humanity is fighting him. And from the trailer, that kind of looks like what's happening. We got him fighting soldiers. It kind of looks like it's in a destroyed future. We, it, they kind of, it looks like they're going with that. And if they are, it looks like this might be the final in the series and might not be a, uh, a a cliffhanger and if you want my opinion as much as I love the cliffhanger as much as I would love to see the series going and you know, continue I think they should end here they should be the, the conclusion to the series we've all been waiting for because this movie was a miracle it was what are the odds of them being able to get a six made with Angus Grimm still around I mean, for years and years, we've been stuck on the cliffhanger of four thinking it would never get resolved. Now here we have a chance to resolve everything. Do we really want to get stuck on another cliffhanger, but this time for good? No, I don't. Now, for, for it to work, for them to make another one, if they would have to make five and six back to back. That would, I don't know, maybe they did, I don't think so, but if they made six back-to-back, -back, that would have been smart. Because they would already have made and out of the way, and there you go. But other than that, I don't know, they, they should end it with five. But anyway, I'm still trying to talk about what's in the trailer. More fan services, they show the uh, woman from the first Phantasm, the one that fan, the tall man turns into off and on. She's back. She's older looking, but amazingly enough, she looks almost the same, just a little older. They got the same makeup on her and stuff. I was like, wow, you know. So that was nice. And the, the, her part in there is pretty much fan service. She's just going down the hallway going, but you know what? That made me happy. I'm sure it made all the other fans of this series happy. And then, of course, we see Reggie, the, the favorite Phantasm hero. One of my, I have a, you know, a list of, you know, my top favorite horror heroes. Reggie is probably, probably in second place, right below Ash, you know, Evil Dead, the greatest horror movie. I started talking about William Shatner there for a second. The greatest horror movie hero of all time, Ash. On my list, he's a little below him. Love, Reggie. Our favorite balding ice cream vendor turned uh, 
dwarf butt kicker. You know, we get to see a lot of blood in here. We get to see a lot of teasing with the spheres. Uh, a lot of this, the trailer looks low budget, but I remember reading a, uh, a quote from the director, Don Cress Corelli, that he believes that Phantasm movies should be low budget. They were created to be in low budget. They belong in the world of low budget. Which is weird, because my favorite in the series is part two, and that had the, not, not a super high budget, but it had the highest budget. It had a Hollywood budget. It was kind of like a Hollywoodized version. You know, hearing that, you'd think, you know, we'd hate it. No, Phantasm 2 was freaking awesome. Um, I, I can only guess that Don Curse Corelli still had almost complete control. He was allowed to do what he wanted to do. Phantasm 2 rocks. Um, but I can, even being a fan of the one with the big budget, I can understand what he's saying. And, and I agree. These are, you know, the, with the plot rise and all that, they are kind of made for... 3D, so a 3D. Oh man, I would love to see a 3D Phantasm. Can you imagine the spirits? Co oh my God, Don Cross Corelli, make it happen. Anyway, and I just got through saying no more, and here I'm saying make 3D happen. I don't know what I want. I'm a typical fan. <laughs> but the point is, what is the point? I'm losing track. Okay, Phantasm Five. Yeah, don't need to make any more. <laughs> no more Phantasm Fives. Oh, I just... Oh, man, I was... Oh, I was doing well, and then I just got knocked off. Okay. Phantasm... <laughs> like, how did I get on Phantasm 3D? But, but anyway, low budget, yeah. Phantasm should be with a low budget. And you can tell by looking at the trailer, this has a low budget, which is fine. Um, it kind of looks a little caffeine cheesy, um, which is fine with Phantasm, as long as it doesn't go into Phantasm 3 levels of caffeine and cheese. But for the most part, it looks fun. It made me excited. Um, the trailer ends. Good. They try to do cool stuff with the spheres all the way through. They reveal stuff about them. We've learned a lot about them. They make them do new cool stuff in each movie. This time, the end of the trailer shows a gigantic sphere floating in the air with Reggie underneath it. That's kind of, I don't know where they're going with that, but I'm kind of, yeah, I, I'm kind of hoping this movie is awesome. Let's hope for awesomeness. But yeah, I just wanted to give my thoughts on uh, the trailer to this movie, because this is my favorite series, movie series of all time. I'm really, really obsessed with these movies. Love these movies. And if this video goes well, and if I don't, then screw it up completely, I would, uh, I would probably try to do some movie reviews. Review some of my uh, movies, do stuff like Ice Pirates and stuff like that. You know, just give my thoughts on uh, B-movies and camp and, you know, and not just B-movies. I mean, everything that I own, I'll go. And I won't just do boo, boo movies. That's what I should start call, calling horror movies from now on. Boo movies. No, actually, no. Movies that are full of nothing but stupid jump scares, those should be called boo movies. Like that Lady in Black, which I actually kind of like, but it has 300,000 jump scares in it. That should be a boo movie. That, we need to start calling jump scare movies boo movies. Yeah, the new genre. But anyway, <laughs> I just went off on a tangent there. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll do everything, not just uh, B-movies. I review, like, everything, every genre. But, you know, especially my favorite ones to, to do will be the B-movies and the, uh, the 80s, 90s action flicks, you know. You know, stuff like Cliffhanger or go even older than that. And stuff like... Uh, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive, you know, <laughs> you know, some really great 80s action and sci-fi, do everything, all my stuff, but I'll just be diving in the world of uh, B-movies a lot, a lot, and you know, do stuff like Toxic Adventure, you know, I got so many movies that 
possibilities are in, infinite. So um, we'll see what happens. This, like I said, this is kind of a test thing to see if I have what it takes, or if anybody even is interested in seeing me talk about stupid movies. But uh, yeah, so that's been my thoughts on uh, the trailer for Phantasm Five. Um, I like to do more of these. Obviously, I've just been like 10 minutes talking about how much I'd like to do more and here I go saying I would like to do more. What? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's it for this. I um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed listening to me ramble about nothing for 20 minutes. So until my next video, you guys have a good day and yep, see you then.